Minecraft. It's always great when you're playing Vinyl Fantasy 2 to get a music disc to help complete the jukebox monument. But is there anything that would be even more sensational than getting a disc? Let's watch. Hello. Last time I went to assault this house, I immediately fell in one of these holes into the lava and felt like an idiot. And so this time, before I try to attack, I'm going to try to plug up some of these holes. Meanwhile, there are ghasts spawning down here. And so that will be a continual threat. Trying to explodify me and knock me off. But I'm going to try to make a better walkway over here. And then attack what's inside this house. And it looks like we are just about there. Alright, let's do this. I have a set of iron armor. And I recall that there's a blaze spawner in here. And then some other spawners upstairs, I believe. Like a zombie spawner and a skeleton spawner. And I hear... Okay, there is another skeleton. And then I hear more blazes. I wonder if there was a spawner behind that picture frame below that I didn't check out. Oh, hello, skeleton. And in case there are other spawners outside, I guess I could go ahead and light up this room. Let's go ahead and check and see if this is indeed... It is Maul. All right, and I think we can just get out of here. It's my... Oh, crap. Expectation, maybe. Hello. Oh, crap. All right, lots of problems. Lots of problems. I'm going to die in a fire. Let's get out of here before they shoot me again. All right, I have food. I can heal up. I am not sure where they are spawning. I didn't bring along any fire resistance because I thought after I uh, did that, I wouldn't necessarily need it. Um, I see they're spawning outside. There's some skeletons spawning outside over there. And there's bedrock and obsidian, so I won't be able to get out over here. And meanwhile, more stuff is spawning. I wonder if I can see... Can't really see anything useful out there to know who might be out there. And I won't be able to get out over there either. And meanwhile, things continue to spawn. Oops, and there's a gas shooting at me. Alright, so basically I'm going to heal up and then we're going to have to make a run for it. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, here goes nothing. I'm back up to full hearts. We're just going to try to run. Oh my gosh, so many blazes. And I need to break down this door, I think. And then just run out of here. Run, 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 run. Alright, see, that wasn't so bad. Still regaining some hearts. I've got some food on me. Great! And we have a record disc, and now, other than a few gas, it should be pretty easy to get back. So that wasn't so bad. I think, was this mall, I believe? Yes. Alright, and so that is a nice way to start off this episode after I failed so miserably last time and just said, Oh, let's run inside here, and immediately fell in the lava. I felt like such an idiot. Um, I had at some point previously left some items in yeah in here that i had pillaged before i did the previous assault i remember because i put the torches next to the mailbox and so i'll go ahead and take those back as well but i'll see you guys back at the jukebox monument and we will claim another record all right so here we are at the jbm and mall goes right here all right and as per tradition we will listen to the music I will do the little Joe Hill signs over here. Do, 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 do. But since we're at the beginning of the episode, we are going to keep going. So for those of you who don't want to listen to the song, you can always skip ahead a few minutes in the video. We found this in the friendly house. Oops. At the end of Zombaville. Awesome. Light it up. And so while I'm listening to that, I am going to farm some trees.
All right, so there you go. Mall is a nice track. Got a little bit more wood and have a little jungle tree farm going on over here to get things started. But for now, I think now we're going to go back to, I forget, is it called Last Resort? The area where there was kind of like the gravel that was going to fall underneath you and then there were blaze spawners, I think. I think that sounds like a good place to go next. Oops. Need to remember how to get back to the gate. And so I think I will try to get prepared for that and meet you guys over there. All right, I'm over here at last resort and a gas spawned, and so I'm trying to blow up this gas. There we go. But in the meantime, I noticed when I deflected some of his fireballs that it broke up this cobblestone, which tells me that this is not cobblestone. It is, in fact, silverfish, because cobblestone has too high of a blast resistance uh, to be destroyed by gas fireballs. And so it appears that mining this iron won't be as easy as is obvious. Uh, thinking that it's cobblestone, and so I want to keep that in mind. I have multiple times seen gas spawn right over here because there aren't many places that they can spawn. And so in order to remedy that, I happen to have some half slabs on me back over from the jukebox monument. And so I am just going to put a few half slabs kind of down here in order to discourage gas from spawning over here because they need a 5x5 five five area of flatness that doesn't include half slabs in order to spawn, I believe. And so hopefully that'll make it less likely that gas are going to spawn over there. In any case, uh, over for this area, I think... I'm not sure if this is a good strategy, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put away... Oops, crap. You guys spawned again. Darn you, darn you, darn you. And where's the second one? Like, I'm pretty sure, oops, they're just naturally spawning on surfaces as opposed to from a spawner, because I don't think I'm close enough to a spawner. Ugh, this is going to be a pain in the neck. I could just go ahead and hide from these guys. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll try to ignore them for the moment. And just see if I can get my... Actually, let's do this. Here's an idea. I will build myself. Ah! A little hidey hole. Doesn't have to be elaborate. Oops. Mm -hmm. Alright, good enough. Uh, where the gas are unlikely to get me and unlikely to blow up my... Let me get one more brick out here, hold on. Let's do that and that. Alright where the gas are pretty unlikely to be able to blow up my chest. And I'm going to take off all of my stuff and just walk in here with this golden pickaxe. It's unbreaking three, but it's almost broken at this point. And so you recall when we went over here last time that basically there's gravel underneath here that looks like it will fall whenever there's a block update. But then there were a couple of blaze spawners. Ooh, and I hear magma cubes too. That's not good. Uh, and so I'm hoping to be able to take out some of the blaze spawners before the gravel updates and falls. Uh, but if it does fall, basically I'm not carrying any other stuff, and so I won't feel bad about dying. So that's kind of my strategy for this area. Not sure if it's a good strategy or a bad strategy, but that's what I'm going to try to get things started. And so... We will just take our shot and see how it goes. And... I think I will try to sprint over here to the extent that I can. Eventually I'm going to kind of like fall off of edges and things over here. Alright, I see a spawner. I see a bunch of spawners. Crap. Yeah. Alright. Destroyed that spawner. Let's just try to destroy as many spawners as we can before someone finally spawns and ruins the entire party. In the meantime... Oh, crap. A skeleton. Yuck. He's going to knock me off at some point. Alright, but the good news is he's not going to do anything that's going to cause a block update. All right, got rid of that spawner, so that's good. And then I can probably punch the skeleton off or just die. All right, but that's fine. Uh, we took out two or three spawners. Um, and unfortunately, my gravel or my pick probably just fell, but it was about to break anyway. So I'm going to just make other gold picks. I have tons of gold um, that I've been picking up from various looting places. And so I'm going to make another golden pickaxe because those destroy spawners very quickly. Uh, and just try that again a few times until I'm sure at some point something catastrophic will happen and all that gravel will collapse in. So I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, so I went ahead and made four golden pickaxes, so if I happen to lose them, that's fine. I can always 
uh, come back and make more. And so I'm just going to drop them off in this little base that I made right over here. I can just peek inside here and drop off these picks. And I will take one of these picks and basically go in and try the same strategy again and see how far we get until finally this gravel starts collapsing everywhere. All right, so last time I kind of went to the right. This time I'll try to go to the left because I know there were some spawners over there as well. And let's see how this goes. Got to be careful not to fall. All right, there's something right in the middle here. Oh, crap, crap, crap. That's the same skeleton. I don't know. Oh, there's a spawner over here too. Oh, this is more difficult to negotiate than... I was expecting. All right, here we go. Golden pickaxe to the rescue. All right. One thing taken out, and then there's a spawner over here. Up, 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 and we fell into the void and lost that pick, but that's fine. So yes, one of the nice things about having the strategy of, I don't care how many times I die, I'm just trying to get through the map quickly, is that we can afford to do that. So I'll see you guys back down there. All right, here we are again. We're going to try this again. This time I'm not going to bother sprinting. I'm just going to try to be a little bit more careful and hopefully successfully negotiate my way over here. Hello, skeleton. Yes, I see you. Oop. All right, and now let's see if I can kill the skeleton before he kills me. Let's use the pick. Might have been useful to bring a sword along so that I can kill the skeletons easier and uh, also have something to block with. I didn't think of that. So I'll just bring a stone sword as something else that I don't mind parting with. So I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, we are back again with a stone sword and a golden pick. And let's see if we can knock out another spawner, hopefully. Let's see if I can figure out where the next one is. Because I kind of took out one there. It looks like there might be one up in here. Or did I already take this one out? All right, there's definitely one over here that just started glowing. And this will be non-trivial to get to. Going to have to jump, maybe. Can I reach it? Yes. Okay, great. Awesome. Now, where is the next spawner that I need to get to? I think I need to fall down here and then jump across here. And spawners, spawners, where are the spawners? Hello, monster spawners. I want to kill you. I want to destroy you with my pickaxe. Um, can't tell if there's one over there or not. As I get closer, I'll be able to see if it starts. Yes, okay, there is one here. All right, so let's try to. It's skeletons again, but now I have a sword. Which I can use for blocking. Ugh. All right. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, but there's still a good chance of falling in. And yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nowhere I can like place blocks that's not going to update the gravel and cause tons of gravel to fall down. And so I don't think there's any other good strategy other than just trying to build everything from scratch, which I don't want to do. So let's try that again. It occurred to me that there is a better strategy for dealing with the skeletons, at least. It's called a bow and arrow, so that I can at least fight them at range and then run over there without having them knock me off. And so this time I'm bringing a bow and arrow, and I have an extra stone sword that I just crafted, because I crafted a couple of them, and so I'll drop one of them off in here and switch it out with my remaining golden pick. And we will go try this again, and hopefully this one will be less of a suicide mission, because when we see a skeleton, we'll be able to shoot him with the bow and arrow. Uh, and then go advance on the spawner, hopefully. So I will see you guys in a moment. All right, there's a spawner right here. I just backed off when I started, saw it starting to glow. And so let's hope it doesn't spawn anybody, but if it does, I've got my bow and arrow ready. Uh, yikes. Where can I go? Down here. Oh, all right, there's a skeleton. All right, he's gone. Great. All right, one spawner taken care of. Let's go back to the bow and arrow to be ready for this spawner to spawn something. It's another skeleton. He just fell. Oh, there's another golden pick over there. I'll go try to pick that up in a moment. All right, great. And so one of my previous deaths was due to a skeleton arrow. And as a result, there's another golden pick. I'll probably fall in the lava with it in just a moment, but hey, it's good to have <clears throat> for the moment to brighten my spirits, and I'm going to continue heading over this way until I see another spawner that I can try to attack. Oh, 
Yep, there's one. All right. What are you going to spawn? I think we might be blazes this time. I'm not sure. If we are, that's going to be trouble. Yep. All right, the good news is he just kind of fell down out of the bottom. And so maybe he won't see me and start fire. Oh, here's another one. Crap, crap. Oh, this is going to be bad. I just know it. All right, that one's taken out. I see another spawner over here. Crap. And I'm sure at any moment, like, a blaze will fire on me, and then it'll all go bad. Because I think the fire will cause a block update. Oh, crap, I'm on fire. All right, but I did get another spawner right there. Buckets of water, obviously, would cause a block update. Here's more skeletons. And now I hear things on fire, which almost certainly means that we're going to get a block update, and this is all going to go south. But let's try to kill a blaze. Crap. All right, I'm dead. Uh, but some of my stuff is still here, so I might be able to get it back. Uh, but we've gotten, I think, probably like halfway down that room already, so the strategy is working, slowly but surely. So I'll see you guys again in a moment. All right, we're back. I accidentally shift-clicked uh, when I was crafting stone swords, and so I made a ton of stone swords by accident. Uh, oh, and the gas fireball just blew that up. Well, that's fine. But basically, we are back down here, and I will bring you guys back in when we get close. All right, there's a blaze. Let's see if I can kill him before he kills me. All right, he seems to be... Oh, crap, he started block updating. I just saw some gravel fall. And I'm still within range of the spawner, too. Crap. All right. Yep, there's another blaze. All right, this is going to be bad. Um, Yeah, this is not going to go well. Yep, there goes some more gravel. Let's see. If I kill him, I'm just spawning another one, probably. Ugh. And now I'm not sure I'm going to be able to reach over here. Let's give it one shot. Oh, wait. It can reach it. Come on. There's... Oh, no, no, no. Darn it. For just a moment, I reached it, and then I moved, and I wasn't able to reach it anymore. All right. So that's going to quickly get more difficult with the blazes. So I'm not sure if I should try a different strategy. I'm going to think about it for a moment. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. Since the block updates are not taking out all of the gravel, they're just taking out kind of small sections... I decided that I'm going to bring some blocks. I brought snow because snow won't catch fire, unlike wood. Um, but I still have plenty of snow as opposed to cobble, which I don't have tons of. Uh, and so it seems like kind of a disposable block that will work in my favor for this area. But basically, as I get close to that blaze spawner, I am going to get off of the gravel and step onto some snow so that I don't have to worry about it kind of falling out from under me. And, yeah, then I should be able to get closer to those blaze spawners and hopefully take them out. We'll see how it goes. But first of all, I need to get over there. And I thought I was getting close already. It's somewhere right in the center, but I don't see it right now. Maybe it's further along and I've gotten further down this passage than I remembered. Which I guess would be good. Does anyone see? Oh, yeah, I see a big hole in the gravel over here. So it must be coming up soon. And so I wonder when I should switch. Okay. Okay. There is the blaze spawner. Okay, so it's right there. <sighs> and I'm just going to need to... I need to be standing on the snow before I start placing things. And so let's go ahead and get that ready to go. And then just try to run over here. And then go like that. Okay, great. All right, great. And now even if the blaze kills me... All right, and I even killed him. Awesome. All right, unfortunately, there's another one over there. And I think under the expectation uh, that the blazes are going to continue to knock out the gravel blocks, I should go ahead and just start placing more snow to stand. Oh, crap. <laughs> I walked right into that on my own. I just updated that block and then stepped on it. That was kind of dumb. All right, slow and steady wins the brace. All right, I see my snow over there, so I know there must be a blaze spawner coming up over here. And so, let's try to rush over to it if we can. I think I see it starting to spawn stuff. Yeah, all right. And so let's make sure we're going to be standing on this. Okay, great. There is a blaze. Let's try to get rid of him before he kills me. All right, great. And let's get some more snow. Oh, crap, I just did the same thing. <laughs> All right, I'm a dope. I think I should just go farm some cobblestone and make a nice cobblestone walkway over here. I thought I was going to be able to use the gravel enough, um, 
that I wouldn't have to bother doing that, and the cobble just seems like a slow and tedious thing that I never enjoy doing, but I think I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to go grab a bunch of cobblestone and then make a nice walkway over there and try that. So I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, so I am back with a stack of cobblestone, and I am just going to update the gravel, which, wow, on this end is actually updating a ton of the gravel, and build a cobblestone pathway out here. And so I will do that until it gets interesting. All right, I ran out of one stack of cobblestone, and so I'm back with a little bit more. But I also know that there is a spawner right up here that I'm just about in range of. And so I'm going to try to build, there you can see it firing right up there, a little bit more cobblestone over here, which will probably also knock off some pigmen. Although the pigmen are pretty dumb. Oops. All right, that's just a skeleton spawner, so that's good. I prefer the skeleton to the blaze. The pigmen seem to be pretty dumb. They kind of just walk off the ledges willy-nilly in order to fall into the void. Oh, there's another skeleton spawner, too. And it does look like there might be a birdcage down at the end, and so that is also good. I wonder... If I should just let another skeleton spawn from this spawner, because I think I'll just fall into the void. And so maybe I will wait for another one to spawn and then try to build a little bit more out. Let's see if another skeleton does spawn right here before I go and try to take out that spawner. Yes, there's a skeleton and he walked off. Okay, great. And so there's still another spawner on my right. But I believe I should be able to reach this. Oh, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> oh, well. Try, try again. All right, I brought some more materials into this bunker, but I'm going to try again. I'm going to be really curious to see how other people handle this area. I don't know if there's a better strategy that I'm not thinking of. And I can also imagine that there are some strategies that seem like they'd be good on paper, but actually don't work out that well in practice. Uh, and yeah, so I'll just, I'll be really curious to see what other people end up doing in this particular area. But at this point, I'm definitely within range where I can take this one out and the other one shouldn't be spawning. Yup, 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 yet. Except for it just did. Oh, crap, there's skeletons everywhere. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, I need to back off and see where all the other, okay, there's at least one spawner there. And... All right, that I'm still in range of. Let me back off to where I'm out of range. All right, so I guess I need to build to that one next because that seems to be the next closest spawner, but it seems like the spawner density has gone up over here. And so, all right, that skeleton just fell, and so that's good for me. So I can get closer over here. Oh, I see there's another spawner over here. Okay, great. Let me back off and see if there's any skeletons I need to knock off. No, it seems like all the skeletons fell through. Oh crap, there's a blaze spawner somewhere now too. Oh, there's a blaze down, oh my gosh, oh no! All right, blaze, you are not my friend. Phew! All right, so the blaze just appeared somewhere down here. Are there like lower spawners that I haven't found or is there another blaze spawner over here that I haven't taken out yet? Let's go ahead and, I guess, try to go over this way and see if I can figure out where that blaze is spawning, because the blaze is more dangerous than the skeletons, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, there's another blaze spawner over here. I never took these out. There's two spawners, it looks like. Holy crap. And I cannot reach over here. There we go. Oh, hurry, 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 hurry. All right, one spawner gone. Let's run. All right, and now let's see if we can take out this Blaze. Who is kind of helping by knocking out some of the gravel. Oh, crap, crap, wow. All right, still alive. Good, good, good. I will wait for a moment to get regain some hearts and then try to build over to this other Blaze spawner. So I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, I realized I was going to need to get a little bit more cobble and arrows before I move forward. So I've done that. You just saw the zombie pigman just walked off of his own volition. So there's another blaze spawner over here, and that's the next thing I'm going to go after. I think I'm going to try to get over all the way over to the wall and try to hug the wall. Actually, no, I'm not, because I can see where this blaze spawner is, and I can just about reach it. 
Okay, great. And now, should I get over and try to hug the wall? The advantage of hugging the wall is that then you can kind of lean back against the bedrock wall, and you don't have to worry about enemies knocking you back uh, off of a brick, because they'll just knock you back into the wall, and so it's probably better to go ahead and start uh, climbing this way. Okay, and there's another spawner, and it's a little bit inside. Yeah, actually, I can almost, I think I can run right over to that spawner. I'm going to try that, actually. Can I get it from here? Almost. Crap. Oh, crap. All right, there's a spawner while I'm on the run. Let's try to get this one. That is great. And then I see one more over here. Can I get it? Yes, that is fantastic. And then I see another one over here, and I'm just going to try to run over here. Oh, crap, crap. Lag. Got turned around. Fraps is doing crazy things. All right, and I see another spawner over here, but this one's about to spawn. Oh, dear, and it spawned a skeleton, but the skeleton, I think, fell off. And I'm really worried about falling off, and so I'm going to step onto my own brick over here and then see if I can get over to this one. Uh, Fraps, hold on. All right, every once in a while, Fraps just goes nuts, and your frame rate just, like, drops to zero. And... Nice. Any other spawners in sight? No. And I have four cobble left, which might be enough to connect this back. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> and there's a ceiling, and so I can't even make this jump. But I can probably walk around on the gravel, and then possibly I'll discover another spawner that I need to take out. So let's keep our eyes peeled. I basically see if I can circle around back to here so I can go g gather some more blocks. But keep an eye out for spawners. All right, but I do think we're going to make it over to the birdcage over there. And so this has been a slow area to try to get through. Like I said, I'm curious to know if people have a better strategy. Uh, but the one that I applied seemed to work, and it didn't go through too many materials. Mostly a bunch of golden pickaxes. Uh, but I have plenty of gold to just kind of throw those things away. And so, I believe, from over here, I will still not be able to get back over. Oh, wait, over here I can. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, yeah, watch this. Boing. Boing. Hooray! Okay. I'm going to go gather some more cobble, and then maybe we're on the final run, and perhaps we can get another disc. All right, I could imagine either, possibly, that this might be all the spawners, and at the end, there aren't any more spawners, uh, because once you've traveled this far, 3-2 starts being nice to you again. Or I can imagine that we'll get very close to the disc, and then all of a sudden, kind of, all hell will break loose again. Not sure, really, which to expect, uh, but either seems plausible in my own eyes. I'm going to build my own cobblestone walkway over here. Assuming I can manage to do that, and I probably actually, I thought I maybe had enough bricks, but maybe I do not. But it seems foolish not to build my own walkway here, just because it seems like if I don't, then at some point I will get a disc in my hands and then fall out of the void again. Wow, it's so weird just to see all this gravel just falling away, falling away. But indeed, so far, I haven't seen any more, um, what do you call, spawners. <laughs> And so, assuming we have no more projectile enemies, I think we are going to be okay and make it. And... Yep, since there's no more enemies, and if I place another block, it's going to update things, I think... Can I break this open and get the disc and just walk on a couple pieces of gravel over here? I think I'll do that. And so this is blocks! Blocks, of course! Blocks makes perfect sense for this reason, for this region, because you had to place a bunch of blocks. I do not really want to sprint over here, because I could easily make a mistake. It's so funny just to see the pigmen spawn and then immediately fall off. Pigmen are so dumb. At some point, their AI will probably be updated as well. And then the pigmen might be more of a threat, although I don't know if they would bother. Like, they're a neutral mob, and so unless you start attacking them... The pigmen kind of don't matter. They're just kind of irrelevant. It's like, hello, zombie pigmen. Oh, look, he just walked out of the way. Um, and when you do attack them, then they start running at you with their golden swords. And so maybe they're good enough as they are. Yeah, maybe I don't care about 
updating the zombie pigman AI. In any case, oh, looks like a zombie pig pigman took a fall over here and has left me some golden nuggets, but I will meet you guys back at the jukebox monument and we will listen to another disc. How exciting. There is an Enderman over here at the Dootbox Monument carrying some sand. I do not like that at all, but I am also not wearing any armor at all right now, and so I think I'm just going to leave him there. We will deal with him some other time. Right now we have more important things to do, specifically... Blocks! Let's listen to another music disc. Alright, awesome. And, as usual... With tradition, we will put down a sign that says Falling Gravel sucks a lot, but Brian is persistent. Is it persistent? Is that how you spell it? Might be an A instead of an E. I'm not 100% sure. Oops, where'd the torch go? Went on the wall for some reason. There we go. Blocks! Huzzah! And at this point, we have one, two, three, four, five discs already out of 11. I am feeling good. Alright, I've gone down to one frame per second in fraps, but I wanted to keep the music going because I kind of like this track. So you'll just see me sit here staring at the ground. Hey, my frame rate came back. Maybe. Now it's going away again. How sad.
This track is really long. And jungle saplings do not have a high rate of return. Alright, for anyone who is still watching after that long bit, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you next time, and perhaps we'll try to take on that crazy area with all the spiders and lava and fire arrows and charges and things happening over there. So, see you next time. Hope you're having a great day. Two discs in one episode. Sensational!